Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the capacitor band sizing. It is a part 2 video of capacitor band sizing series. In this video, we will discuss regarding the actual calculation of capacitor band in K capacitor band in KVAR and we will calculate the main MCCB rating. So let's start this video. In order to know how to calculate the capacitor bank rating in kvar we need to understand the formula which we will imply to calculate the capacitor bank rating i will discuss in same series of capacitor bank video regarding the power triangle in more detail but as our motto of this video is to calculate the capacitor bank rating in kvar and the main mccb rating for the capacitor bank so i will give you the overview of power triangle and then we will jump to the actual topic which is capacitor band calculation in kvar as in the earlier part one video i told you that the power factor is the cosine angle between voltage and current right and i told you that the power factor is the cosine angle between voltage and current and we know that the power formula P is equal to V into I into cos theta which is written here. So cos theta is equal to P by VI. We know P is the actual power or true power and VI is the apparent power. So we can say that the cos theta is equal to is a ratio of active power and apparent power which we discuss in the part 1 video in more detail. Now we know that the cos phi is equal to is, e is equal to the ratio of active power and apparent power if we have one triangle okay and this is the theta angle this is the theta angle then the cos phi is equal to what base by hypotenuse right base by hypotenuse so base is this one p and hypotenuse is this one that is s apparent power so what is this this is the reactive power hope you got what is power triangle but in more detail we will discuss regarding the power triangle in further videos of this series now we got to know when this is the theta then the cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse that is the true power by the apparent power and as per the phasor if this is the true power this is the apparent power then this will be the reactive power now considering the same angle theta we want to calculate tan theta tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base right as per the trigonometrical basic so what is perpendicular that is q so we write q kvar divided by base what is base base is the active power so p k w so what is q kvar is equal to tan theta into pw meaning the reactive power is equal to active power into tan theta in order to calculate the reactive power required to compensate the reactive power produced in the system we know that the inductive load for the inductive load the current is lagging with respect to voltage for inductive load and for the capacitive load current is leading with respect to voltage so as we know our most of the loads are inductive in nature in the world 90 percent loads are inductive in nature so in order to compensate this inductive reactive load we need to add the capacitor in order to produce the leading current in order to compensate the lagging current so we need to know this kvar rating in order to compensate the inductive reactive power hope you understood this one from this we got a relation between reactive power and active power that is the reactive power is equal to active power into tan theta so we will use this formula in order to calculate the compensative reactive power for the system so let's start before that one i will tell you regarding the local authority requirement related to power factor diva needs the power factor in between 0.9 to 0.95 siva need the power factor in between 0.93 to unity and adc need the uh, power factor from 0.9 to unity for diva we need to maintain the power factor in between that 0.9 to 0.95 okay so as 
we got the formula that q k v a r is equal to p k w into tan theta in order to calculate the compensative reactive power we have to use this formula which we obtained from our discussion that is q a v a r is equal to p k w into tan actual tan actual and tan theta desired what does it mean suppose for our system after connecting all load our power factor is equal to 0.8 okay 0.8 and our desire is to improve the power factor to point 0.94 so this is the desired power factor and this is the actual power factor so this we have to mention in order to calculate the kvr rating let us assume that we have we have a total connected load of 1000 kilowatt it is just an assumption in order to calculate the kvr rating for this connected load okay so the system power factor actual power factor is 0.8 and the desired power factor which we need to make our system that is 0.95 so we will put all this in the formula Q K K A V R is equal to P kilowatt into tan theta actual minus tan theta desire. So what is the what is P? P is the thousand kilowatt. So we mentioned thousand kilowatt into tan. I will tell you if the cos theta actual is equal to point A, then what is theta actual is equal to cos inverse point A that I mentioned here. This I mentioned here cos inverse point A and then same tan and for theta desire i mentioned cos inverse 0.94 because our desired power factor is 0.94 then if we will calculate cos inverse 0.8 we will get 36.87 and when we will calculate cos inverse 0.94 we will get 19.95 then thousand into if we will calculate tan 36.87 degree it is equal to 0.75 and minus tan 19.95 9.5 then it's come as 0.93 you can calculate these all value through using scientific calculator or you will get in google the calculator online calculator to calculate cos inverse and tan theta after calculating this we got the value of kvar is equal to 390 kvar so this is our compensating requirement of reactive power uh, reactive power but this is we, we don't have a capacitor band with a rating of 390 we have to make it is standard always we have to round it with multiplication of 25 whichever the next digit the next value which is divided by 25 we have to use that value 390 is a round of value but we need to round off with respect to 25 why because because the standard available kvar capacitor capacitor is of 25 kvar 30 kvar 50 kvar 75 kvar and 100 kvar so we have to always round off our calculated value with respect to 25 kvr so when we will order the capacitor band we will get it easily from the manufacturer now we calculated the power uh, kvar rating required is 400 kvar in order to improve the power factor for from 0.8 to 0.94 now let us calculate the main MCCB rating for the capacitor bank. What is it? Let me tell you in the capacitor bank panel. This is the capacitor bank. We calculated the total KVAR for this capacitor is 400 KVAR. Okay. We will do the stepping that which this capacitor is how much, this capacitor is how much, this capacitor is how much, and this capacitor is how much. Now we will calculate the MCCB rating for this capacitor now. we know that q is equal to q is equal to root 3 into v into i into sin phi we know that the q when there is the the biggest angle between the voltage and current voltage and current is 90 degree okay so we will consider the mccb rating at as at the worst case we are introducing the capacitor bank in the system in order to reduce this 90 degree to 0 degree as we know that the cos 90 cos 90 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so we as i told you when the cos phi cos theta is equal to 1 it is the most efficient system it means we are trying to bring voltage and current in the same phase then only the phasor angle between the voltage and current is equal to 0 but we are calculating the rating of mccb so we have to consider the worst case
so in the worst case the q is equal to root 3 into v into i into sin 90 sin 90 is equal to 1 so we multiplied it one so multiplication is with one i didn't show here but we will show it here for easy understanding okay so q is equal to root 3 into v into sin so what is i i is equal to q divided by root 3 i multiplied here because power we need to calculate in we know the k v a r not v a r in kilo we know so i multiplied with the thousand and v is equal to 400 and root 3 value is 1.732 so when we will calculate it we will get the ampere rating of 577 ampere okay hope you understood this calculation why i took sine theta as sine 90 because i have to calculate the mccb rating at the worst case the worst case will occur at 90 degree okay that's why i consider sine theta is equal to sine 90 which is equal to 1 so we calculated substituted all this value and we got the calculated rating is 577 ampere now we have to have a basic understanding regarding the IEC standard 60831-1 this standard telling about the circuit breaker fuse and contactor rating we have to multiply it with 1.3 because we cannot select the MCCB rating which is this is the system current required current okay and we need as per the EC, IEC standard it is saying when there is a capacitor band and we are calculating the MCCB rating or fuse rating or contactor rating we have to multiply it with 1.3 into 1.1 here it is mentioned when we are calculating it for capacitor banks capacitance as a safety factor so we have to multiply our calculated rating that is 577 with 1.3 into 1.1 in order to cal to get the calculated mccb rating complying iec standard 60831-1 so we calculated here the calculated mccb rating is equal to 1.3 into 1.1 into the calculated system current that is 577 so we got the calculated mccb rating as 825 ampere we know that mccbs are coming in standards rating we get 600 ampere mccb 800 ampere mccb then 1000 ampere mccb then 1200 ampere mccb as our calculated mccb rating is 800 so which is not available so we have to use the next available rating as per the standard manufacturer standard so we will get after 800 it is 1000 ampere so we selected the mccb rating as 1000 ampere hope you understood clearly how to calculate the capacitor bank rating in kvar why i'm emphasizing every time the capacitor bank rating in kvar because we can in this series we will calculate the capacitor bank rating in faraday also which is one of the unit of capacitance okay and in this video we cover the main mccb rating calculation by considering iec 60831-1 that is 1000 ampere in next video we will discuss about the stepping which is itself a very huge topic if i will cover in this video this video will become very lengthy so let's wrap this video here if you really find this video informative then please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel my most of the viewers are watching my videos but not subscribing my channel please i am i am humbly requesting you to subscribe my channel and share this video with your electrical friends we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much